Good morning. Welcome to the channel. This is Victor Alpha 3 Bravo Hotel Yankee with another video. This time, the video is about updating the firmware of the Yaesu 891HF transceiver. This is a basic guideline and I strongly advise that you read the Yaesu official instruction manual thoroughly before attending this procedure. I am not responsible for any damage you may cause to your own radio equipment. Okay, let's begin. Before you perform the firmware update of the FT891, I recommend you check the existing firmware of your radio. This is how to check the firmware of the FT891. Turn your radio on. Press and hold the F key. Turn the knob to change the menu to 18-03 version. Make note or write the main version, DSP version, and the LCD version. This is the second thing you need to update the firmware of the FT891. This is called a USB A to B cable. I added two ferrite beads at each end to uh, suppress the radio frequency interference that might cause problems on my PC. The next step is to download the firmware and instructions from Yaisu website. Open your browser and go to yaisu.com. On the website, click on products, then HF transceivers amplifiers. Choose FT891, download the owner's manual, go to the uh, Files tab, download the FT891 Advanced Manual, FT891 Operating Manual, FT891 Quick Manual, FT891 All Current Firmware including New Update, Main DSP and Panel, FT891 Firmware Update Manual, FT891 Update Firmware Information, FT891 USB Driver Virtual COM Port Driver, and the FT891 SCU17 USB driver virtual COM port driver. Now go to your download folder and focus on these three zip files. Move the other files to documents folder. Click on CP210X Windows driver compressed folder. Go to compressed folder tools. Click on extract all. Accept the default path click on extract, click on downloads, a new uncompressed folder was added. You can now delete the zip or compressed folder. Click on CP210X Universal Windows Driver Compressed Folder. Go to Compressed Folder Tools, click on Extract All, accept the default path, click on Extract, click on the X a new uncompressed folder was added. You can now delete the zipped or compressed folder. Click on FT891 Firmware Update Compressed Folder. Go to Compressed Folder Tools. Click on Extract All. Accept the default path. Click on Extract. Click on the X. A new uncompressed folder was added. You can now delete the zip folder. You are now left with three uncompressed folders. Click on FT891 Firmware Update Folder to make sure it opens. Click on CP210X Universal Windows Driver to make sure it opens. Click on CP210X Windows Driver and make sure it opens. Then, click on this X64 Installer. 
the installer will open and begin the installation of USB sound card drivers into the PC. Click Next. Click on I accept this agreement. Click Next. Make sure the drivers were successfully installed in this computer. Click Finish. This clip will show you how to open the FT891 firmware update instruction manual. Go to your downloads folder and click on FT8891 firmware update 2022 underscore 12 folder. Click on this PDF file called FT891 firmware version up manual. This will open the FT891 firmware update manual. Please read this thoroughly before attempting to start the firmware update and follow its instructions step by step to avoid breaking your radio. Read the section how to confirm the current firmware version of the transceiver. Read how to reset your transceiver to factory default settings. There is a small switch at the back of the transceiver you will need to slide to the left to update the main CPU firmware. Then you will need to slide the switch back to the right side to perform the panel CPU and DSP updates. Again, please, I urge you to read and try to understand this manual before proceeding to firmware update. This is the program switch located at the back of this FT891. To program the main CPU firmware, you will need to slide this switch to the left. Use a small screwdriver like this. We are now ready to update the main CPU firmware. We start by sliding the program switch to the left using a small screwdriver. After sliding the switch to the left, plug the USB cable into the USB port of the FT891 and the other end of the USB cable to your PC. Then connect the DC power supply but do not turn on the radio. Open the downloads folder. Open the FT891 firmware update 2022 underscore 12 folder. You will see 5 files. Open YFSW023 file. Windows will try to block this program. Click on More Info, then click on Run Anyway. You will see three firmware files here. Click on Configure. Click on COM port, choose COM enhanced port. Note the baud rate of 19,200 bits per second. Click OK. Open device manager of your PC. Go to ports. Choose the enhanced COM port. Click on port settings. Change the bits per second to 19,200 bits per second. Leave the rest on default. Click OK. Then close the device manager. Click on Main CPU, click on Write, wait until the firmware update is complete.
click OK then click close now that the main CPU firmware update is done slide the switch to the right after sliding the switch to the right connect back the USB cables and the DC power cords to continue the firmware updates we will now update the DSP firmware perform this procedure to place the transceiver in DSP write mode open the YSW023 file in the downloads folder click on DSP click on write wait until the DSP firmware update is complete Click OK, click Close. Perform this procedure before you program the LCD panel firmware. Make sure you connect a USB A to B cable from your transceiver to the PC. Then connect an external power supply to the transceiver. Press and hold the power lock key while pressing the bend and fast keys on the transceiver main panel to turn on the transceiver on in the LCD firmware programming mode the transmit BC indicator on the transceiver will glow orange we will now update the panel CPU firmware open the YSW023 file in the downloads folder click on panel CPU Click on Write. Wait until the panel CPU firmware update is complete. Click OK. Click Close. Now that we completed all the firmware updates, we need to perform a factory reset on the FT891 transceiver. Press and hold in the F key for one second to activate the menu mode. Rotate the multifunction knob to select menu mode 17-01. Reset. Press the multifunction knob and then rotate the multifunction knob to select all. Press and hold the multifunction knob to reset and automatically restart the transceiver. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Happy holidays to you and your family. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, 73 to all. See you in the next video. Bye for now.